No question there are benefits to installing a solar system on your home, but does that necessarily make it the right investment for you and your family? Well, tonight we shed some light on going solar. In neighborhoods across Southern California, you see an increasingly familiar sight. Families like Gino Tina are going solar. We want to use the sun <laughs> instead of fossil fuels. And that's, I think, extremely important to do. For Jean, this is an easy decision to install solar panels on her home in Sherman Oaks. She says it's as much about protecting the environment as it is about protecting her future. I'm looking for when I really retire to uh, have my utility bills as low as possible. The sun gives us that energy that we can make into electricity, so it makes no sense not to be using it if we can. But making the switch to solar isn't always a no-brainer, as many homeowners find themselves in the dark when it comes to navigating the solar system. I wanted to find my best return on investment. It took Greg Prosser from Chino about two years to weed through all the ads and phone calls and finally pull the trigger. Initially, he was leaning towards a zero-down lease, but ultimately decided to get a loan and buy his $24,000 system outright. A lot of the companies will structure a loan that will be equal to your current bill. Then after the eight years, you own the system outright and you don't have to pay a bill. The goal is figuring out both the installer and the financing package that best suits your needs. Adam Gerza is the CEO of Energy Toolbase, a software company that specializes in analyzing the true costs of going solar. He stresses that you do your homework. Find out the pros and cons of leasing versus buying. Know what incentives are still available and how they can pertain to you. And get a clear understanding of your local utility provider and their methodology when it comes to billing. Rates are changing and net energy metering frameworks are changing. So it's another part of the conversation, making sure that the savings that are being projected and estimated today uh, will be the same going forward. As for Gina Gregg, well, they're just looking forward to their bright solar future. My total bill for the month is going to be $9, as opposed to last year was $360. I'm waiting to have that bill lowered. Well, it can be a very good investment. Most people who buy their solar system outright typically see a return on that investment in less than 10 years.